Yo, top billing to ya, Dog Nation. In addition to subscribing to this channel, join me at www.patreon.com slash committed to the G for exclusive film studies, recruiting chatter, and a sick ass weekly podcast dedicated to your future natty winners, the Georgia Bulldogs. Only $5 a month lets you leave them sissies and nerds behind and join your boy on this movement. Let's go. Top billing. Top billing. Top billing to you. Your man Justin Fields is everywhere. I even saw the man coaching UMass. You see him right there? That ain't Justin Fields. Come on, man. He can do everything. All right, check this out right here. We got to look at the creativity. It's your man Fields. All right, we see it right here. Keep it going. Obviously, what he's going to do right here, very much so like what we've seen from Alabama right here on these RPO reads, these pass tags on the back of run calls. You're going to be reading this man right here. You want him to crash down, then you throw it on the back of him, replays hot. He crashes down. You already know what's coming behind that right there. The man with the backside slant. All right, so let's check it right here and look at the mechanics. I like the spacing. The point and shoot foot, great spacing right there. Nice compact ball, about shoulder width. And we'll see he has kind of a piston quick release as well. He actually jumps to throw this bad boy. It's like a jump pass. Look at the strength and the velocity to be able to get this pass off. All right. PAY scenes right here, getting the ball over this overhang defender. Show him it front facing. Play action fake. So obviously it's going to be about ball placement as far as your arm slot. When we're talking about getting something over a shallow zone defender right there. Man, look at that. Where the ball breaks from his hand. The point and shoot foot right there. Over the top delivery. Yeah, I love that. It really reminds me of Donovan McNabb. Donovan McNabb is one of my favorite players of all time. Loved him at Syracuse. When I saw Justin Fields play today, it very much so reminded me of this guy. His size, his uh, athletic ability, power, strength, and everything. But look at the product placement right there. Just look at it. My man barely has the break stride. Barely. Come on now. Product placement. Who's saying that besides me? Oh, yeah, them unoriginal cats out there trying to be like your boy. But, man, it is what it is. Your man's off to the races. Let's go one more game. All right. Front facing play action fake. Hold that defender right there. Nice follow through. Nice point and shoot foot. Everything right there to me is perfect. Right, here's the granddaddy of the mall right here. Look at this three by one set. Like you're seeing a lot of people do. I love the three by one right here for Georgia. You get that backside isolation over there. Um, with the X receiver. But, all right, check out the mechanics. Look at the weight transfer. Point and shoot foot. Handbrake. Oh, man, look at that stride. You know you're going to get some good velocity on this one. Let's run it back. I like that a lot. Gather phase. Nice. Crossover steps. Weight transfer. Shoot it. Fantastic. Look at the product placement. Now, that's really not breaking stride. Over the over the shoulder, Ken Griffey catch. Hit your man in stride. Look at the spacing. Look at the spacing created, the separation by one Mikoa Hartman. How do you defend that? You got a big arm guy like that with one of the fastest players in the entire country. Multiple players on the team of that ilk. Just absolutely bananas. Y'all know I absolutely love this one right here. Yankee concept. Remember... Jake Fromm hitting Terry Godwin in the Vanderbilt game with a Yankee concept. Got your post right here from Demetrius Robertson. Uh, I believe a kill Crompton right here. Deep over route. And you got your man Trey Blunt right here running kind of a shallow crosser, a mid crosser. This was absolutely ran to perfection except one little detail. See right here, everything's starting to take shape. Got that backside isolation. With your ex-receiver right there, Demetrius Robertson. 
gaining total separation. Look at the gather phase. Weight transfer. The arm break over the top. Let's it go. Dropped. Dropped. Come on, man. You couldn't do it any better than that. One more time. Let's look at him right there. Gather phase. Nice crossover steps. Weight transfer. Shoot it over the top. That's all I need to see, man. I don't want to see no damn drop again. Come on, Demetrius Robertson. You were the absolute man. I know you're going to kill it next year. But time to step up this year, too. I remember when I told you what's going to make Justin Fields extremely dangerous when his time comes. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be this right here. All right, so check out the pocket right here. It's not necessarily design run con concepts. It's going to be him detaching from the pocket organically. You can see the lane starting to form right there. If you're playing zone against this guy, you can forget about it as well. Because you're just giving him soft coverage. And he's going to be able to get through that. I could kind of clean. I would have liked to see him right here. Hit Jackson Harris coming through right here on the slant. Move the chain. Allow someone else to move the chain for you. But he didn't feel comfortable doing that. So I really only wanted to talk about his throwing prowess because the man is a damn good thrower. And he's the prince of college football. But, man, his running is so good you have to talk about it. So we see right here split zone, QB split zone. Cross formation, pretend block there. Isaac Nader to get the seal back. And man, just own it, eating up yardage. So we see when this guy crashes down, squeezes down right here. It's in his best interest because the guy who's getting the ball is probably the most talented. Not probably. I think he's the most talented running back in the entire country when you put all the tools together. However, you got to know what can come out the backside. So. It's a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. Nice block right there by Jeremiah Holloman. As always, receivers block at Georgia. Pro style receivers. Let's get it. Three by one. Backside isolation with Demetrius Robertson again. Let's check this out. He did a great job right here of looking off the coverage. So he was actually going through his progressions. We see him right there reading, probably deep to short. He doesn't like it. Comes over here. No, he has the backside isolation route. Low and away. Look at the product placement. Absolutely nasty. All right, last one right here. We see the pocket presence. Isaiah Wilson getting beat on the backside right here. This is something, just an innate thing you have to feel. So he feels it. You can see him shrimping right there. He feels it. He sees the rush in his face, able to avoid that, break a little bit of a tackle, and he's out the back door. All right? You want more of this? Patreon.com slash committed to the G is the place to get more recruiting chatter, podcasts, lively talk, anything you can think of. We have it rolling right there at committed to the G. That's Patreon.com slash committed to the G. I'll be getting on some of these young defenders out here specifically these young cornerbacks and those film studies will only be found at patreon.com slash committed to the G but your man Justin Fields did his thing don't be running up in here people from another fan base talking about oh it was you mass and all this and that dude relax we're just analyzing as we go here it's, it's called football analysis all right it's very simple it's not rocket science stop smoking meth and jumping on top billing sports comment section and commenting on everything, feeling inferior, feeling funny about yourself or something like that. All right? Your man did his thing, man, was able to show off the arm. I like to see a little bit more rhythm throws from him. It was only five completions, but they were so electric that you just had to really do something on it. But, man, eventually we'll get to see him do the whole gamut, mid-distance throws, quick game throws, and then, of course, going vert, detaching from the pocket, and then the designer QB run game as well. So, the Prince is here. He's here to stay. In his time, it will eventually come. Georgia has two very talented quarterbacks on his roster. And don't jump on top billing sports talking about Jake Fromm is average and all that. Jared Stidham is average. 
Nick Fitzgerald is average. Kellen Mond is average. Jake Fromm is better than all of those guys. So you come on there talking that trash about Jake Fromm. I'm 86 in that ass. You feel me? All right. But it's your man, Murph, the Underground King. You want more? Patreon.com slash commit to the G. And your boy is out. Peace. What more can I say? Top billing. Top billing.